So hi everyone, this is Jasta Gay from the Achievement Squad, coming at you with the Bertram and Fiddle, uh, full achievement guide for the episode, A Deadly Business. Now this is a full walkthrough of the episode, I will show you everything, so there's a full spoiler warning in effect. At the same time, I'm not going to do a voiceover for the entirety of this video, because if you just click on what I click on, and follow the pattern, you will unlock all of the achievements related to this game. So there are two tricky parts in this game, which is the part where you are chasing somebody and you're running away from something. If Bertram puts his hand over his face, it means you failed. Now to get back to into the swing of things, you'll need to dashboard the game and you'll need to start that section again. Um, but it's still very straightforward. Like I said, just follow everything uh, that I do in this and you should be fine. Just quickly wanted to say thank you to everybody. We finally hit the thousand subscriber mark. We are so stoked about that. And yeah, we've so thank you very much for your continued support um, and happy hunting. machine I can't see a thing ah that's better what a beautiful day only a mild smattering of pigeons Gavin must have left this rag out when he cleaned the photomographs. I ought to tidy it up. Me being chased by a giant man-eating tortoise. I've never been so mildly afraid in all my life. What a tedious death that would have been. Gavin, my trusty manservant and I, in the Peruvian jungle. He's a cyclops. Strong as an ox, but terrible depth perception. Last year's trip to the centre of the earth. Got a lovely tan. Ha <laughs> ha! My Stanley steam lift. It makes traversing these cumbersome stairs a breeze. Seems to be a little stuck. <laughs> Blasty pile of rubbish. Where's Gavin? He should be here to hand me my telegrams. Sir, is that you? <laughs> Have you locked yourself in again, Gavin? Good morning, Mr. Fidel. There you are, Gavin. Where have you been? I was just, uh, deflating the Zeppelin, sir. I did not hear you walk down the stairs. Did you sleep well? Unfortunately not. It was a restless night, embothered by some strange dreams. My mind craves adventure. And without it, I fear I'm going quite mad. It's been two months without the slightest expedition. I'm becoming a little worried. What shall I do if I can't do my adventurings? Do not fear, sir. There is an old Peruvian saying. The forest is full of trees. Hmm. Quite. Gigantic diamond? Sounds legitimate. Hmm. I've been telegram spammed. <gasps> A message from Lord Arthwipe. Maybe he has news of an adventure. My dear mother, I owe her so much. Approximately £12,000 and a new gazebo. A fossilized dinosaur egg. But which came first? My turtle lamp. I don't know why I shelled out for it.
Just some artefacts I picked up on my travels. My prized possession. An actual Tyrannosaur arm bone. A rather cheeky specimen. Oh, there you are, Bertram. Don't touch my knickknacks. Bothersome creature. Good morning, dear heart. It's nearly ten o'clock. I hardly call that morning. Haven't you got some adventuring to do? Alas, no. I have been looking, but I just can't find any expeditions worthy of my talents. Well, if you don't find something to adventure soon, I shall require that you find yourself a proper job. It's not that easy, my dear. You can't merely go outside and find yourself in a world full of unimaginable creatures. Adventure strikes when you least expect it. That as may be. I am accustomed to certain standards, Bertram. Being respectable costs money. Your mother agrees with me. She has mentioned there is a very respectable position at Mr. Dullsworth's soap company providing telegrammatic advertising. The hours are long and arduous, and the work repetitive and uninteresting. But you would receive a steady income, Bertram. My, my, is that the, um, I really must be off. <gasps> Bertram! <gasps> Caviar doesn't just grow on trees. There, there, my dear. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. You have until the end of the day to find suitable employment, or I am calling Mr. Dullsworth. Oh, well, of course, my dear. Thank you, Beatrice. Now, could you do me a favor? Um, well, I do have an appointment with Lord Arthwipe. For goodness sake, Beatrice, I don't like you running errands for a dreadful man. It's just not becoming. Now then, can you take Foofy to the groomery for me? It's on Groom Street. I, uh, yes, of course, my dear. This is all very tiresome. I'm going to lie down. in Africa, just before I discovered the world's shortest river. Back in 1878, I managed to hunt down and kill the majestic rhino bird. Yes? Be a good fellow and move this cabinet, Gavin. Certainly, sir. Storm What a terrible little man. He never said sorry. Oh, I see. He's bemuddled our bags up. He's got Foofy. Rude man. Excuse me, rude man. Excuse me, rude man. Come on, Gavin. Do keep up. This way, Gavin! 
This way, Gavin. Catching him. I said. I said. I My oranges. My lovely oranges. Ouch. Are you okay, sir? What's this? It appears to be a nose. He must have dropped it in his haste to scurry off into the shadows. You squashed me oranges! My lovely orangey oranges! seen a short, shadowy, sinister-looking chap scurry by? No, I'm afraid I haven't. Evening, Barbara! Did you see a suspicious, shadowy little man run by, Pachance? I wish to return his bag. No, sir, I have not. You should ask that Sherlock Holmes, sir. He's a proper detective. You can find him in the Adventurers Club. Yes, yes, I know who he is. I'm quite the detective myself, you know. Blessed with a keen eye for detail. Let me have a look at that. Oh, look. A freak show is in town. Psst, over here. Emelina Snoopsworth, reporter for the Evening Burble. Good day. Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. Perhaps you've heard of me. Um, yes. Yes, of course I have. Maybe you can help me. Are you a member of the Adventurers Club? Indeed I am, madam. How may I be of service? I'm investigating the ghastly murderings that have been happening, and I want to interview Sherlock Holmes, but he's a very difficult man to get hold of. They won't even allow women in this ridiculous, outdated backwards club. It's 1884, not the Middle Ages. Quite. As it happens, I'm going to see Sherlock Holmes now. Perhaps I can ask for you. That would be most helpful. If you learn anything about the recent murderings, do tell. Have you found out anything? I'm still... Well, tell me. What a glorious rhinoceros! Ooh, he looks a bit sickly. What a unique horn! But what sort of animal is it? A genuine Fijian mermaid! Although it does look a bit fishy. Oh, good evening, Mr. Fiddles. The usual. Yes, please. One can never have enough tea. The main attraction, taking pride of place on the wall. How do you do, Sir Grouchley? How do you think, Fiddle? Things haven't been the same since I lost my legs in Venice. Constant pain, Fiddle. Constant. Oh, I am sorry. That sounds terrible. You weren't there, man. You weren't there. I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle. You are not permitted into the gold members area. It is for A-list adventurers only. I've never been so outraged. I need to see Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Holmes has asked expressly not to be disturbed as he is working on the dreadful case of Jeff the Murderer. I have my own case I want to talk to him about. I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle, you are not permitted into the gold members area. What an imposing pachyderm! His trunk is colossal! That poor creature has not been mounted properly. It looks like it could fall down any minute. 
His antlers are as twisted as this mystery. Your Majesty. Hmm. Has someone been trolling? Guy Hardwood? How are you? Fiddle! Long time no see! Yes, it's been a while. Just telling Melvis here about my latest adventure. Four months in Patagonia. South America. Discovered a lost world. It was well splendid. Yeah. Found this thing up a crevice. Crevasse. So thought I'd bring it back. Don't even know what it is. Got a few ideas. <laughs> Crazy. Prehistoric. Lord Rochestump has been asleep since 1882. A grisly and gnarled member. Ooh, porcupine canopies. A prickly aperitif. Time to cause a flap. Fly, little creature, fly! Crikey! Fiddle! You buffoon! What have you done? Oh, you am lost! Come back! Come back to me, you oh. Here I am, right behind you, guy. Oh, yes, that's the spot. Lord Craggle Wedge. First man to climb halfway up Mount Everest. It's quite an achievement. Hmm, yes. The infamous Jade Griffin. Sir Cl Do you mind? Oh, uh, terribly sorry. The door was open and I... Uh, 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 hmm. uh, no. Ooh, down a bit, Sandra. Door just stand there gawking, man. I'm sure it's nothing I've seen before. Ooh, you've got cold hands. Pick those leaves up from a fellow in Indies. Strong stuff. Good for relaxing. Help yourself. Um, I'll be off then. Be a good fellow and shut the door on your way out. Ah, Sherlock's private room. No doubt where he works on his important cases. Ha! I win again, Watson. You really are a dolt. I'm sorry, Holmes. I'm trying. It's just I don't really understand the rules of this game. All your games. Ah, oh, fiddle. What brings you here? Come to bore us with more tales of one of your piffling adventures, have you? No! I'm on a mission to return this bag unto its rightful owner. And who is its rightful owner? That I have yet to ascertain. There are absolutely no clues whatsoever. Have you tried looking in the bag? Ah, I never thought of that. Oh, ahead! The features have been sliced off expertly with a sharp instrument by someone with skill and panache. Ah, this looks like the work of London's most elusive serial killer, Jeff the Murderer. Ha! Good luck finding him, Fiddle. The whole of Scotland Yard hasn't been able to track him down in decades. I rather fancy my luck, Holmes. He can't be that far away. <laughs> you, Fiddle. You couldn't find your own tolly water in the toilet. <laughs> I'll wager you wager you don't even come close. <laughs> if you can find Jeff the murderer, I'll wear a woman's dress and dance the trifling gallop round the streets of Lambeth. I accept, good sir. Nice to see you, Bertram. Shush, Watson. But the... I say, I say, that's not to be sniffed at. Oh, 
my! That's a potent concoction! Try this one. It's a special blend. Give me that. Being the world's greatest crook thwarter is thirsty work. What, what, what is in this tea? I feel somewhat strange. What have you done? Is he dead? Don't worry, Watson. He's just sleeping. Oh, uh, I mean, good. Now, was there something you wanted to tell me? I know you'll think me silly for saying, but you need to ask the spirits for help. Spirits? I am a man of science. I don't believe in such puffery. No, Bertram. They exist. I have seen them with my own two eyes. Sherlock says it was a seagull. But I know it was the spirit of the recently departed. The spirit sometimes lingers on in this realm, especially if it has been wronged. You should help her find peace by collecting the missing body parts. Try and find Count Fulchmuckle. He's a gentleman with an acquired taste, but he does have certain connections. I'm sure he can help you on your quest. anything yet? Well, madam, I spoke to Sherlock, but he's somewhat occupied right now. Typical. The conceited buffoon. However, I am able to inform you that I, Bertram Fiddle, am now on the case of Jeff the Murderer, and I shan't rest until I find him. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful news. Our readers will be delighted to hear about this. You can tell your readers not to fear. I can be quite sleuthful when I need to be. Here's my news blimp now. I must be off, Mr. Fiddle, but I'm sure I shall see you again. Good luck, Mr. Fiddle! Hemlock Street? This must be Lord Arthwipe's abode. Extra! Extra! Bertram Fiddle on the hunt for Jeff the murderer! Public less than confident! My, news travels fast around here. Would you say my nose looks big in this? Ah! Never more. Never more. Never more. Have you heard the news, Fiddle? There's been another murder right under our noses. They say he is the devil himself. <laughs> Terrible, isn't it? Terrible? Terrible? You do not know the meaning of the word, Fiddle. Now I, on the other hand, I have done some truly terrible things in my time. Fortunately, <laughs> I am so rich, I am above the law. <laughs> Interesting paintings, your lordship. Are they Dutch? Doggy. It's not a dog, you fool. It's a wolf beast. My double-headed cobra fiddle. <laughs> Twice as deadly as a normal one. <gasps> Is that blood on your carpet? Yes, I, I cut myself. Shaving. I have a little errand for you, fiddle. You may encounter a Lady Ravisham whilst traipsing around. She has in her possession some photographs that I would rather she did not. I need you to retrieve them for me 
If you obtain them successfully, meet me in Lady Ravisham's secret garden, and I will reward you handsomely. But tell no one, Fiddle. No one. I have arranged for my coach to take you there. It is waiting outside. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Fiddle, I've been waiting for you. Have you got everything? Once you get in, there's no going back. Hurry up, I ain't got all day. Get it up. This is turning out to be. I'm never going to find myself an adventure at this rate. There is no way a man of my caliber should have to work for Mr. Dullsworth. But at least this mission for Lord Arthwipe should see us well rewarded. I don't trust him. He has funny eyes. Lord Arthwipe? He's a very important and extremely well-connected gentleman. If we can impress him, I'm sure he will be able to provide us with some form of adventure. We must hunt down this Jeff the murderer, and fast. But the odds are stacked against us. He has eluded all attempts at capture so far, and taunts even the greatest detective minds. Imagine the look on Sherlock's face if we were to succeed where he has not. And your wife's dog, sir. And Poofy. I must get him back, or Werther will be furious. We have a thing in Peru. An armadillo never gives up. You're right, Gavin. And neither shall we. <laughs> there he is now. Quick, stop the coach. Don't let him get away again, Gavin. There he is. Behind bars, where he belongs. How did he get through there? An oar next to a gate in an alley? Why, you could say it was an alley gate whore. A disturbance in defense. He's a slippery little fellow. Where's he gone now? Why is your nose so funny? What did you say? Count Falchmuckle's residence. Come in. Master is out. He went out on one of his nocturnal perambulations last night, and I haven't seen him since. Oh, really? He's a funny one, to be honest, sir. Hates the lie. And he has some strange requests. But he's always been good to me. Ah, uh, I, I should probably be off now. Oh, yes. I'm afraid I've said too much. Good day, sir. And if you see the Count, tell him his breakfast is getting cold. No one sees this. Think of the scandal. May as well leave that here. See you later, Alley Gate Four. Got them. Ooh, silk. Excuse me. Did you see a man run by? About this high. Mean, squinty eyes. A menacing scowl. Indeed I did. He knocked me over and trod on my monocle. Oh bother, it's cracked. It's no use to me now. Here, let me help you up. It's broken, but it might just help. Getting 
about her all the time. Shoo! Shoo! What are they picking at? It's a mouth! One more piece of the puzzle. What a winning smile! Spotted Glump. A footstool. That will come in handy. That looks like it was painted a long, 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 long time ago. What a dreadful racket! I can't hear myself think! you now. Have you heard about the murderous villain known only as Jeff the Murderer? I, Bertram Fiddle, am hunting him down. You should be careful, living on your own. Don't worry, young man. I have a feeling I shall be quite safe. Is there anything else you want? Squawk! Have you met Mr. Calamus? He's my only companion. I tell him all my secrets. Tells me all her secrets but never remembers to feed me. Really got the energy to lift my wings. What a magnificent diamond. Look how it catches the light. Oh, uh, that thing. A mere trinket that has brought nothing but bad luck. A gift from someone I'd rather forget. May it bring you better fortune than it has me. I'm no cow to help. My beak is sealed. What did you say? Only wants a cracker. I'm starving. Is there anything else you want? I was wondering if you had any photomographs I could look at. Photomographs? Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Produce is getting dripped on. I have to move it all. Right, Bloomin' Stay, I tell ya. Try these on for size. Bloomin' marvellous, sir. Cool, blimey, sir. I'm most humbly indebted to you. How can I ever repay you? What are they? Arigadodos! The world's rarest fruits. You can have one in return for helping me out. One good turn deserves another. <gasps> Thank you, good sir. Ew, it's all wiggly. Too heavy for me to... What's in here? There's someone in here. I can hear them. The 
this should help focus the light. Ah, makes me beam with pride. Ah, my eyes. <sighs> I might hold on to this ring. It looks quite precious. Yes. Hmm, it's a good start. That's better. And now to nimbly scale the wall and make my way elegantly into the garden. I need further elevation. Yes. Are you okay, sir? Yes, yes, I'm fine. This toadstool broke my fall. So this is Lady Ravisham's secret garden. It looks a bit neglected. A stout vine. I've swung on a few of these before. Here's the problem. It was bolted from the inside. Hmm. 
And now to leap effortlessly across. I need a little more momentum. Mm. Let me give you a push. All tight, sir. You wait there, Gavin. I shall venture into the attic alone. And when he got there, the cupboard was, ooh, a biscuit. as if you can step into the picture. what Lord Halfwipe is after. I wonder why he wants them so badly. Oh my! Oh! Now you know! Oh well, I better get back to the old turkey. She'd be wondering where I've gone. Ah, Fiddle. You made it past that murderous hedge, then. <laughs> oh, Lord Arthwipe. How did you get in here? I have my ways, Fiddle. Have you got my photomographs? Splendid! Splendid! <laughs> you didn't look, did you? I, um... Yes. Uh, you mentioned some kind of reward? I did, did I? 
Let's just say you won't have to worry about that Dullsworth fellow again. <laughs> How did you know about that? Oh, <laughs> um, ah, uh, here, look, a secret passage. Be on your way, Fiddle. You have a murderer to catch, and you don't want him to get away again, do you? <laughs> I smell danger. That isn't danger. <laughs> Mind your step, Fiddle. It can get quite treacherous in there. Mind your step, sir. There must be a way out somewhere around here. My goodness! This tunnel has led us right under the canal. Ooh, fancy that. Gavin, you look different. Oh, you have an eye stuck to your face. Another clue! An eye for an eye. Oh, are you an angel? No, I am Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. Oh, I'm Norris, and I'm a bit down on me luck, mister. Me good lady wife threw me out on account of me tuneless whistling. Said it were driving her to distraction, she did. Oh, poor you. Indeed, sir. Now I'm sat here in this tub, a pondering the meaning of life. Evening, sir. I am on a hunt for the fiendish villain known only as Jeff the Murderer. Have you seen anyone suspicious pass by? No, sir. I've been too busy sweeping up other people's mess, sir. It's going to take me ages to sweep all this muck up. This broom just isn't powerful enough for me. It makes me right angry, it does. Especially now I have to use this feeble broom. If only my newfangled automatic sweeping machine hadn't broken. Hello, gentlemen. You're not from around here, are ya? Do you see anything you fancy? Oh, I love a bit of muffin. You fribbling nitwit. How dare you? How rude. She threw her muffin at me. I'm not going to eat something that's been on the floor. I'm not an animal. We're closed. No one crosses the bridge after dark. It ain't safe. But I need to get across. I am on very important business. Sorry, mister. Since the murdering started happening, we always shut it at night to keep the rascals out. Can't you just open it a little bit? It's more than my job's worth. I'm off home for a nice plate of kippers. You'll have to come back in the morning. Oh, Frudge, what shall we do now? An ensemble of reeds. Oh, what a beautiful turnip you have there. Leave my turnip alone! Oh, it's my beautiful baby turnip. They call me Pokey Mary. Cause I'll poke ya with this. Oh, she will as well. Look what she did to my hat. I will poke ya. Yeah. yeah. We don't like your sort around here. Poking your noses in. You poke your noses in here, I'll poke you in the nose. Poke, poke, poke. You've 
pierce my reed. Will this be of any use? Oh, thanking you kindly, sir. I'm going out to whistle my wife back. Unbecoming of a man of my standing to be rooting through dustbins. A jar of gruel, a rubber sock. Ooh, what's this? A cork. An outside meditation chamber. Ooh, someone's been meditating a lot. There's a rat in the toilet. What am I going to do? Look at its fangs. Here, ratty, ratty. Hmm, good for reaching awkward places. But with my contraption back at my command, I'm capable of anything. Who knows what I may become? Time to clean up this muck and make everything immaculate. 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 Hold on, sir. This won't take long. A bit faster. We haven't got all day. Yes. Now lower the bridge. Certainly, sir. Solutions are the best. Oh, the cobwebs are all stuck to my brush. Excuse me, young whippersnappers. That eyeball belongs to me. Find his keepers, mister. We saw it first. If you want it, you'll have to beat us at marbles. Well, I used to be rather good at this game when I was a lad. You can't play unless you've got a marble. We don't make the rules, mister. What a proud and noble beast. Mmm! Now it 
it looks edible enough to eat. May you hold on one moment? I'm busy attending to my clockwork farm. It's very enchanting. Is that your father, Sir Bruce? He looks a formidable fellow. treasure. I wonder if I could borrow it for a bit. May you hold on one moment? I'm busy attending to my clockwork farm. It's... Your moustache! It's all crookedy. Here, let me... Oh, don't touch my moustache! Darling, I still love you, in a way. It's just not right. Makes me so ashamed and angry. Thank you for your help. Have a good evening. He knows, you know. He knows everything. This candy floss tastes funny. Check out the size of this marble. <laughs> cool! That's a shiny one, isn't it? You win, mister! You win! What a banana! <laughs> I say! Come back with that! How did that get here? The final piece of the puzzle. Face puzzle thing. An eye for an eye. an invitation from Sir Bruce. What? I'm here to see Madam Blackheart. I sense you are greatly troubled by something. Yes, I am. How did you know? She's very good, isn't she, Gavin? You are searching for something. Someone. A stranger. Yes, yes. Jeff the murderer. Oh, Shasha Vastad. This is what? Very what? I was told you could help me find who did this by contacting the spirits. But I'm rather skeptical. Yes, I contact the spirits. But first, you must cross my hand with silver. Sorry, I don't have any silver. Ooh, but I do have this massive diamond. That will do. Oh, spirits, can you hear me? Shh, someone is answering. She's in great torment. And 
then he cut me blooming head off. The rotten scoundrel. Help me find out who wronged me, so I may rest in peace, and not in pieces. Look for the sign of the spotted calf. Ooh, ooh. someone else is coming. Something wicked. Ooh, but spirits. Cover your hearts in your feet, then. No, no, I can't stop them. Run, you fool, run! has given them the slip. Are you okay, sir? Oh, Gavin. I feel most peculiar. Like I've been scrubbed inside out with an ice-cold, dirty dishcloth. What's this street called? Mutton Alley? Sherlock, what are you doing here? Ha-ha, <laughs> Fiddle. Maybe you aren't such a fool as I thought. But you're too late. He's already gone. Who? Jeff. Jeff the murderer. What's the matter, Fiddle? You look like you've seen a ghost. Shush, Watson. You must think you're pretty clever tracking him down to this unassuming lair. But the fiend is obviously a criminal mastermind. Always one step ahead of the law. It's like a game to him. He's toying with us. Are you sure this is that fiendish villain's house? Ah, oh, he hasn't changed a bit. A letter addressed to me? I can smell burning. Foofy, are you okay? What kind of a maniac would make sausages out of a dog? Werther isn't going to be happy with this. I can hear scratching. Foofy, where is it coming from? Yes. I'm afraid not, sir. Yes. Quick, Gavin, move the table. Look! A trapdoor! Step aside, Gavin! Oh, Foofy! You're alive! Goody! Well done, sir! Oh, Werther will be so happy! Looks like it's time for us to return home, Gavin! Very impressed, Mr. Fiddle. It looks like you really had that villain on the run. Are you going to continue your pursuit? Do not fear, Emelina. Even though I'm going home to have my supper and get a good night's sleep, I shan't rest until I solve this mystery and uncover the secret identity of Jeff the Murderer, whomever he is. Well, I for one can't wait for the next thrilling installment of this adventure. And don't forget about the wager, Holmes. Ha! You'll have to do a lot better than this if you want to see me in a lady dress. What a marvellous story it's turning out to be.